Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. You know, Windows Mobile, more than any other mobile phone operating system, offers a variety of browser choices, which is great. So we have Opera Mobile, Opera Mini, Skyfire, among others, of course. And now we have a new version of the Iris browser from Torch Mobile. It's a WebKit-based ba browser that promises to bring very true desktop-like PC browsing experience to uh, the mobile phone. So let's test it out and see how it looks. And I've already loaded it up here with a few tabs and uh, that sort of thing so that we could get started. So here we are on a Wikipedia page. And the way that I got here, I went to navigate, um, show address. What you'll notice about the Iris web browser, it's a lot more crude than Opera Mobile. So the address bar isn't as pretty. They're, they're, it's not very graphical. The go button is actually the word go up in the in the upper left corner so it's kind of minimal um, what I really like about this browser is that when you start navigating the page you get a slider on the right side of the page that shows you the progress along where you are and this really helps if you're on a long web page and you don't know how far you are from the bottom now something you may be noticing is that Iris has really is really slow at re-rendering the page when you get to a new section. I think this is a place where Opera Mobile is much better um, than Iris Mobile. So let's go to the tabs. And by the way, these menus that you are seeing, this is not part of Iris browser. This is part of this ROM that I'm running. Uh, we showed a video on this. This is the same ROM or a similar ROM uh, that we'll be shipping on the Touch Diamond 2 and the Touch Pro 2. So let's go to tabs and see all. And so you get this kind of interesting interface for the tabs. Uh, it's sort of 3D, although I don't think it was really made for such a tall screen. Although the Iris web browser does work well on this uh, WVGA screen. And so we can find a site that we want, we can tap on it again, and it will pop up. And we get a really cool animation actually in the process. Um, unfortunately, I haven't been able to get Flash video to play in the Iris web browser. Um, I'm going to go to page, let's make a new tab, show you how that works. All right, so then we can go and type uh, and let's see how long it takes, msn.com. Pretty simple web page. Running over Wi-Fi right now. Okay. Okay, so I had to cut out for a minute. It actually took a while to load. So here we are. We start in the zoomed out view, which is great. And we can double tap to zoom in on a column. And although it worked well here by resizing the uh, text to the column or, or resizing the column based on the text, there are some instances. Like if I go to Wikipedia, uh, that tab I had open, it, it did not do a good job at um, kind of fitting the text to the screen as Opera Mobile does. So if I double tap on a column, it kind of cuts off some of the left text there. And if I scroll down the page, it kind of it doesn't really lock me into the center, as you'll find on the iPhone browser or on Opera Mobile. And let's take a look at the settings we have. So if you go to Page, and we go to Options, Preferences. So we can turn on JavaScript, and plugins, and pop-ups, and cookies, uh, things like that. We can adjust the web cache and other particulars. So overall, it's a decent browser. It's free, and I'll post a link on pocketnow.com on how to get it. Um, so you really don't have any reason not to download it and try it. It has some features that Opera Mobile does not have, uh, having to do with the options and settings that you can choose um, from the, uh, the soft key menus. Um, but for me, I'm going to stick with Opera Mobile 9.5 because I think it, it renders pages faster, and in most cases, it renders pages better, and it fits better to the column when you double tap to zoom in. Um, but it's good that we have another browser choice for Windows Mobile. So that's it for now.